3D Coat version 3.01 added a new voxel tool called the Sketch Tool. Let's go ahead and activate that now. You'll see that there's a prompt with a number of different tools on here, but first let's cover some generalities of the tool. Basically what it lets you do is it takes two to three images that you import and it will extrapolate based off those images and create volume. So let's go ahead and import some images. I've already gone ahead and made a couple here. Uh, for the X we'll be using this one. For the Y we'll be using this shape. And the Z we'll be using this shape. Just a simple rectangle, a squiggly line, and an octagon. Okay, so you'll notice that when you rotate the viewport that if you look down Z you'll see the front and back view. Side, you'll see the the x-axis one, and from the y you'll see the uh, the y-axis view. Okay, you can also turn on show all planes. You can also transform them one at a time if you like, so like such. You can also hit reset that will reset scale, rotation, and movement. You can also turn on transform all, and it will then transform all three of them. You can also reset that as well. You can control the opacity of the the whole object here or you can do the inside opacity which is slightly different all right let's set that back to default 0.25 and 0.5 okay we can rotate these like that let's go ahead and reset that and we can also flip them there you go let's reset that again okay you can move them up here by keying in values, um, or you can do it in the viewport like we did just a minute ago. And then there's a handy little help here, just a very quick explanation of what it does. If you need to read that, I would recommend it. Then there's also the smoothing of the images when it converts it to volume. You can also set the degree and uh, the softness for that degree as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit enter, and it might take a moment to complete there. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and hit hide all, and that will make all of the planes disappear there. So you can see this is the image that it created, or the, the volume that it created based on those images. Okay, let's go ahead and do another one here. This one's going to be a little more complex, and it won't be exactly what you think. So let's go ahead and show that. Alright, let's pick a car. And let's uh let's create a new layer on the Vox tree. We'll perform this operation on the Vox tree on this new layer here. Okay. So we just set the X, let's set the Y, the top view of the car, and the Z, let's go front view. Okay, so now we have all three set again. This will take a little longer to create so let's hit enter, and it's going to think for a moment. Alright, there it is. We can go ahead and hit hide all again. And you'll see here that it, it has created a volume, and it, it looks like a car. There are a few things, of course, which you may notice. The wheels, for instance. The way this tool works is that it takes a black and white image, it converts the white areas into volume and anything other than a, a 255, 255, 255 white, it will actually create holes. So you can see right there, the tires were gray, so there's a hole right there. Same with the window here, the windshield, you can see a gash in it where there was a black area. Same with the gas tank, you can see that there's a hole right there and along the window as well. So it won't get, you know, major details in there with something so detailed like this. So it's really great for nernies and greebles and getting a very good general shape in there so that you can sculpt more detail onto.